Welcome to the Silver Fox Entrepreneurs Podcast, the show for mature men with enterprise. Your host is Jim James, a maturepreneur himself, who's doing his best to introduce guests who will bring you useful information and the kind of inspiration that makes running your own business profitable and fun. We're building a community too, so do rate and share the show afterwards. Welcome to this week's episode of the Silver Fox Entrepreneurs Podcast. This week, I'm delighted that I'm interviewing an old friend called Mark Campman, who I met back in the mid-90s when I was running East West PR in Singapore, and Mark was the Director of Marketing at Logica PLC in London. Mark's a Dutchman who's made the UK his home, uh, and he has made digital his career. He's the author of a book called Flirtonomics, and we're going to chat about how he has made digital his life and his passion for sharing all about community and digital marketing and how he's going to make that fund his future, which is in Morocco. Mark, Mark Campman, an old friend and a Silver Fox entrepreneur. Welcome to the Silver Fox Entrepreneurs podcast. Tell the other foxes about yourself and what you're doing now. So I realized recently that I've been at work for over 40 years now. And I started the 1st of April 1981 with IBM in the Netherlands, in Amsterdam. Now, if I look at those 40 years, I can see that as four decades. The first 10 years of my career, I worked for large corporate organizations as a marketeer. Companies like IBM, Burroughs, Unisys always in the technology sector. The second 10 years of my career was where I started working international. I moved to the UK, worked for the European headquarters, and then moved to California, where I worked in Silicon Valley for a few years. And we're talking about the early 90s now. And this is where I got involved, heavily involved in the internet. And I later realized I was one of the first to demo the internet in, um, in Silicon Valley. The third 10 years were the years that I sort of got into the startup business and where I got into social media, and which was obviously completely different than the, uh, the, the decennia before that. And I built up lots of experience of marketing for, um, for small companies, um, startup companies, uh, small medium enterprises. And then the fourth 10 years, which is the latest uh, sort of 10 years, is the period that I ran my, that I'm running my own business. And that's where we, uh, we will go into more detail throughout this, uh, throughout this conversation, Jim. So, Mark, you've really um, been riding the, the tech sort of wave from the uh, innovation through to the implementation and now to social media. And, as a as a as a man, I think generously in in your fifties now, why why do you think being over fifty uh, is an ideal time to start in business? Because you've obviously been in big companies and then mm. smaller companies, but now you've got your own business. Tell us what what are you doing now, and why you think yeah so, doing it later in life is great. Yeah, so let me. Um... Yeah, let me give you my ideas here. So in the um, the end of the 2010s, yeah, so 2009, 2010, I'd been in marketing, working for large corporate organizations, working for startups, and um, I had a feeling of I've been there, I've done that. Yeah, so I am uh, repeating myself, and I sort of felt I've, I've achieved my ceiling. Um, I don't want to run an organization with hundreds of people. I am a marketing expert and, uh, and a social media expert, and that's what I want to, uh, want to develop. And uh, the company that I then worked for uh, didn't give me that, uh, that space. So we're talking 2010 now. And then I hit that magic moment that most people in business will get in their 50s. Yeah, they, will, they will get that moment, what am I doing? 
where am I going? Am I going to go, am I going to be on autopilot for another 10, 15 years until I uh, retire? Am I going to continue commuting to London for two hours a day until I uh, retire? And right at that moment, I saw a video on YouTube from Steve Jobs. And it was the video, and I recommend everybody, you may want to add it to the show notes. Um, mm. uh, yeah, so uh, it was the video where Steve Jobs actually announces that he had cancer. It was his inaugurational speech at Stanford University. And in that video, he makes the famous statement, live every day like it's the last day of your life. And I, and I said, am I living every day like it's the last day of my life and I said definitely not I didn't like my job I was commuting two three hours a day I said this is not what I want now I also had a bit more financial freedom so I had the opportunity and I had the freedom to decide and to look deep inside my heart and said if I can follow my passion what would I want to do and what I wanted to do after some deep soul searching, I said, for me, now it's the time to start, to start sharing my experience because I've got tons of experience. I've got global experience. I've worked in every continent of the world. I've worked in every culture in the world. I knew technology inside out. I knew social media inside out, digital marketing inside out. Yep. And that is what I want to share. So I started my little training company, markcampman.com, on the 1st of August 2010 in Reading in Berkshire in the UK. Mm. And my office was my living room. Yep. And I started to connect. At first, I started to put together a two-hour social media training. Yeah, how to use social media for business. And then I started to connect with local businesses. Yeah, I went to the Chamber of Commerce meetings. I went to networking events. And there's quite a few of those in the UK. And that's where I sort of started handing out a flyer, a two-hour social media training in my living room, 25 pounds, come and hmm. join. And uh, I still have the TV that I ran those training up in my living room. <laughs> and people came, four or five people. But soon... People said, Mark, what you're doing in your living room, why don't you do it in our boardroom? Yes, mm. so and that took me from the living room to the boardroom. So where all of a sudden I was training individuals, yeah, um, there were actually, I was training management teams. Yep, so that's how it sort of started. This, I started to get traction. Yeah. Yep, right. and then, uh, so that was a really good uh, platform to start. And then I got into a, um, a kind of a training academy where I had the opportunity to deliver eight weeks of um, a sort of an eight weeks training program to people on social media. So, and was this the, and was the simply, was this the Simply Learn project that we, no, 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 we, no, 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 no. no. No, Simply Learn BK got, uh, got much later. This was just a, uh -huh. uh, a local sort of, um, sort of uh, uh, school, yeah, and that was offering education to adults and to businesses. Right. So, nice. and, but the, the essence here was over those eight weeks of training, I developed eight steps. Yeah, and eight steps to set your business up for social media. And each mm. step was one of the training sessions. Now, why is this so important? And that is a takeaway I want to give people. When I started to present those eight steps, people in the class at the end said, Mark, fantastic, those eight steps, but I don't have the time to implement them. Can you do that for me? Mm. Yeah, so what started as a training sort of business for myself soon now turned into a consultancy business. Mm. Yep. So, and that is a great way to move and to start your own business in a, a yeah, way you want to share your experience, start with training, but that then moves into a consultancy. Yeah. If you start developing an approach. And would you say, and would you, and Mark, would you have said that the secret sauce there was to mm. create an identifiable stage? Because that seems to be these days kind of the currency online is here's your problem here. Are, three steps, five steps, a quantifiable exactly. number and a defined output. So do you think for people that are consultants with a specific knowledge, it's this codification that's key? 
Yep, and that is um, because you know this is a um, it is kind of a uh, a umbrella for everything that you do, and you give people a very tangible um, sort of concept, yeah, on how to implement the um, the, the recommendations that yeah, you are yeah. that you're making to them. Now there is another step into this, yeah. Um, but before I go into this next step, which is an important part, I just want to share one more thing, very mm. important in the development of my business was obviously to de- to develop myself as an expert in my field. And being a social media expert, I found I I obviously started using social media to develop my um, to develop my online reputation, so I started having a website. I started to blog. I started uh, podcasting. I had videos. Um, I was very active on LinkedIn, and people say, "Yeah, LinkedIn and social media, it doesn't work. It doesn't generate leads for you." But it does. Yeah. After I think in 2012, I had a lady connecting with me on LinkedIn. She said, "Mark, I don't know you, but I see you're a social media." trainer. Hmm. I'm based in Dubai. Do you want to run social media training for us? Yep. Wow. And I uh, and that was just a lead that came in through LinkedIn. So I wow. connected yeah. with her and said, of course, I'm interested. So I, um, and I struck a deal with them. Yep. And um, that was in 2012. I've been in Dubai seven, eight times since. Yeah, I'm now considered a social media expert for the Middle East. Uh, we had somebody from the Chamber of Commerce of Cairo attending the course. She said, Mark, you know, got to come to Cairo. Yeah, so because you need to train our customers. And, and Mark, if I just, just so, can you just give us some idea of the sort of numbers? What, what do you think are fees that could be charged? Because this course is also about, these podcasts are about mm. the numbers. You were talking earlier on about £25 in your living room if you're going to Dubai. Uh, what sort of fees do you think can be charged by consultants, trainers per day or per course? Yeah, good question. Uh, depends on the market that you're in. Uh, Dubai, they have uh, there's plenty of money there, so I'm certainly in the fifteen hundred, two thousand pounds a day uh, bracket. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they are also prepared to, um, uh, to 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 pay for your travel time. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so that was very profitable for us. Uh, or for nice. Me. Yeah. Uh, UK is different. Yeah. So UK is very competitive. And for uh, it could be anywhere between eight hundred to fifteen hundred pounds a day for UK. Right. Uh, when you go into online training, it becomes more competitive. So, um, but yeah, you shouldn't be afraid on in asking uh, good prices. Yeah, good. And I think work. that's that's a key a key learning as well is that the the knowledge that you've accumulated and the experience plus your ability to communicate that mm. has a has a value of, absolutely you know, yeah. the thousand to fifteen hundred pounds yeah. per day to an organization yeah and have yeah. you found have you found that it more profitable to sell to companies than to individuals because obviously that's a change as well you've wanted to work with individuals but you've gravitated back to companies is that yeah. more profitable or you enjoy it more yeah, and I think businesses is obviously more profitable. Uh, they've got more money than, uh, but it's all a matter about of volume as well. Yeah, and that's where you start need to build your reputation. Uh, so the more reputation you get, the more companies will come to you yeah, mm. and said, hey, I've seen you here or I've heard you there. So it's important that you're getting on the speaker platform. And um, another very important thing that I did, and I can recommend it highly to people um, who want to start their own business in the consultancy area, is start to document your knowledge and um, basically in publishing your own book. Yep, so I took my eight um, steps and I've uh, summarized them in, I've sort of condensed it into five steps and uh, I developed a um, a three-day course for those five steps of how to set your business up on social media. I recorded the course 
I then gave the entire video uh, to a transcriber and that person trans transcribed the entire course for me. Okay. Uh, I locked myself in a room for three weeks and I edited the transcribed text and that was my book. Yes. Yeah, Great. So, and, and from a practical point of view, again, Mark, so uh, how, how did you find the transcription service? And what did that cost you? Well, if I'd known then what I know now, it wouldn't have cost me anything because what you can do is when you upload a video on YouTube, Google will automatically transcribe it for you. Oh, will and it really? I, wow. Because yeah, otherwise um, you can use like Rev.com or lots Otter. Of, yeah. Yeah, I think I paid something like 200 quid at the time, okay. yeah, 200 right. pounds. But now I would okay. upload it on YouTube in the transcription. Uh, YouTube would transcribe it. You can yeah, sort right. of download the transcription and then you can edit it. That's useful. I didn't know that because I'm. Yeah, uh, yeah. that's very useful. Okay. Yeah. So the book that I published two years ago is called Flirtonomics, How mm -hmm. to Attract, Date and Love Your Customers on Social Media. Nice and flirt. Does your, does your wife does your wife mind that title? <laughs> yeah, she loves it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And flirt is the five step approach. Yeah. So the five step approach. Flirt is an acronym. Focus. Listen. Integrate. Reach out. And track. Yeah, the nice. book is on Amazon. So if you search on Amazon, um, you will first search for Mark Kempman or Flirtonomics. You will uh, you can find the book, and um, it's uh, that to me has been one of the most valuable assets in further developing my business because okay. all of a sudden you're n when you're speaking at a conference, for instance, you're no longer Mark Kempman, social media expert but your Mark Ampman author of. Mm. Yeah, and that nice. makes a big difference. Okay. Yep, so that is Perfect. the um, sort of the third no. 10 years. Yeah, That's, and that yeah. brings me to today. Yeah, and... Um, yeah, and tell us about today then. What it, so what are you doing yeah. now? Because what, what I'd like to in this sort of five minutes we've got left is to talk about maybe the three behaviors that you found that yeah. make a difference to you. Mm. Well, it's interesting to see what, um, if you look at my career over the 40 years, yeah, so um, I'm now about to start my, uh, my 40th year. So first 10 years was large corporate. Second 10 years was international marketing. Yeah, third ten years was my own uh, my own business. Yeah, so I'm now in the next stage of my career. Is how do I want to? Um, what do I want to do now? Yeah, where do I want to go? And I think that is another important stage. That um, because you know. It is also, we're not getting younger. Yeah. And I yeah, Thank now, you for the reminder. Yeah. yeah my yeah, knees yeah. remind, I thought my, my knees are reminding you, but now you're <laughs> reminding me of that too, yeah. right? Okay. No, but you know, it's, um, if I look at it, I'm doing more of my work online. Yeah. So, and do more online training. And that's, for instance, what I do with Simply Learn, where you and I um, sort of reconnected as well. Yeah. yeah but I'm now at this stage, um, you know, Am I going to do this for another 10 years? Because I love what I do and I don't want, I'm not seeing myself retiring until I'm 70. So I see these last four, last 10 years, another big change. Yeah, and um, one of the things that I'm doing now is I've got a house in Marrakesh in uh, a Riyadh, and I am developing that as a as a hotel, yeah, as a as a bed and breakfast, and that is a completely different direction. But obviously, that is a very rewarding um, direction. And I can actually, everything that I do, that I've done all on digital marketing and social media, I can actually now implement it for myself as well in my, uh, in my Riyadh. Yes. And that's so, a great, and I think that's a, that's a great um, point, isn't it? That now you can start to build a lifestyle around where you want to live and the yeah. skill sets you've got enable you to generate recurring in exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, through through that asset yeah. that you bought. In fact, we've got another another silver fox in uh, in in um, in Indonesia building yeah. out houses and then using yeah. what he's learned from his career 
to sustain himself later on. Now, Mark, it sounds like you've got everything organized, but what about mistakes? Because I know you to be perfect, but maybe you'd share with us, uh, what would you say have been some one or two things that you've done that you would say you ideally didn't do? Somewhere you spent time or money that mm. didn't add value to you? Yeah, you know, when you drive your business with um, with passion, um, the process sometimes um, sort of uh, is bit sort of on the on the back burner, yeah, and particularly the process of developing a new business because that is probably if you start your own business is what everybody will experience. Yeah, and that's also the topic for your next um, your next session. Um, on the mastermind is how can you guarantee that you have this cash flow that you don't have to worry about next month uh, paying next month bills yep and if you are busy and enjoying what you do and you have lots of clients yeah then there's no need to focus on business development and getting new clients mm -hmm. um, and yeah and that's where you need to get a process in place because there will be a state there will be situations that you have fewer clients than you would like to have. Yeah, and then and you need yeah. to start going into business development mode again. So would, would yep. you say and that's been a mistake? Busy that, serving your clients. Yeah. And would you say that's a mistake that you yourself, what would you say would be a mistake that, that you've made? Um, yeah, that I think that would, would it be, be that mistake. too much yeah, that, passion and not enough process? Yeah, too much passion, not enough process. Okay. Um, and also maybe too much individual. Yeah, so um, because I've had various opportunities to to start an own to to sort of to grow into a uh, the business with more people yeah and uh, that could well have turned out to be very successful um but i wasn't that keen on doing that yeah um so i may have missed so, some opportunities there right so you you stayed a, stayed a bit of a loner can, can you just share with us about your relationships this is always one of the parts of the this conversation that we'll be trying to just talk yeah. about how you've retained, because business is one. Yeah. Could you just tell us just briefly, we've got about a minute and a half left in terms of the relationships and yeah. how you keep that side of your life together? Yeah, so the um, throughout my um, my my international uh, work, I started build a family, and the whole family followed me to the U.S., back to the Netherlands, back to England. Uh, we had four sons um, in the process of doing so, but one thing that it did go at a cost, yeah, the career, because at the end of sort of the third the, the, the decade um, of uh, my running my career, um, I. I split up with my partner and that was also the period that I started to reinvent myself and we're talking about the late 2010s early 2000 um, sort of in 2011 2012 and that coincided with with starting up my own business and I now remarried with a, with a lovely um, uh, Malaysian woman and with a completely different perspective on uh, on relationships and having a lot more time um, to invest in the relationships as well with my wife, with my children. And, and let's be honest, yeah, when you are running an international career, uh, you don't have, uh, yeah, you're more focused on your career than on your um, on your relationships. And that, um, yeah, I, I paid the price for that, but I reinvented myself and I'm in a much better space now that I was, uh, that I was then when it comes to my personal relationships. Now, Mark, thank you for that. And uh, can you then share with us with your experience, what would be one practical takeaway of running a business? Not, not a social media takeaway, but a, you know, a Mark Campman Enterprises, how you run your life and your own business. What would be like the one thing you've learned or the one thing that you think is giving you the most success? The well, there's one other video that um, has been a, um, a, a a sort of a, a thread throughout my uh, running my own business, and that is a video from Simon Sinek, and it is called "Start with Why." 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think yep. we should put it in the show notes as well. Instead of most people and most businesses, they start with what, and then they make them what they do, and then they make them to why they do it, but they're not talking about the why are they doing this. Yep. So, in, and then his proposition is, you has to you have to start with why are you doing what you do. If you can find that why, yeah, then that will give so much more satisfaction in the work you do. My personal Great. why is I want to inspire people to learn continuously. If I see people learn, and if I can get into the process of getting those people to learn continuously, that gives me the the biggest satisfaction that gives me a bigger satisfaction than getting a massive um, uh, order. Yeah, I want to inspire people to learn, and that is uh, that would be my main takeaway. Yeah, start with the why you do what you do. Mark, that's great, and and I think you, your passion has come across there on the why, and you've always been someone who's had a lot of inspiring thoughts. So. It tells where people want to find out about you. Mentioned markcampman.com. Yep, there is. And uh, also they can find you on LinkedIn, I think, as Mark yeah, Campman. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. So markcampman.com um, gives you everything I do um, on LinkedIn as well, on the Mark Campman. There is the, um, I'm on Instagram as well. And there's the, the Riyadh, uh, riyadhfarasha.com. Um, so lots of places where you can, uh, can find me. Great, Mark. <laughs> thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to chat with you today and thanks for sharing okay it's been a pleasure take care thank you for joining us today if you enjoyed the show do please rate it and share it with your dad stepdad son brother uncle boss colleague friend or anyone else who still has a business in them sharing is caring and best of all it's free for more information about our entrepreneurial community visit silverfoxentrepreneurs.life